Hey guys, my name is Yasmina and welcome back to my channel. It is the month of October, which means Preptober. Leave a comment down below if you're doing Preptober, if you're thinking of doing NaNoWriMo, because this video is related to the upcoming NaNoWriMo. And if you don't know what that is, it's National Novel Writing Month, where every single writer who wants to participate has the goal of writing 50,000 words in a month. And if that sounds easy to you, then congratulations. <laughs> that's way more than most people can do. But you know, that's why it's a challenge. And I will also, of course, be participating again as I do every year. But since NaNoWriMo is coming up, and I figured some of you might be new to NaNoWriMo and want to try it for the first time, and you might not have any writing software with which to take on this challenge. And so today I want to share with you my favorite free, that's right, free writing software, writing apps and word processors. Okay, so there'll be a little bit of everything. Some are online cloud based and some are software that you can download and keep forever. I'll leave timestamps for this video so you can skip around if you want for each individual software. And of course, I will leave links to everything that I mentioned down in the description. And I'm not being sponsored by any of these companies. I just wanted to recommend to you guys some free writing software today. All right, no more rumbling. Let's get into the video. First off, I have to mention the obvious. And to be honest, this is one of my favorite word processors anyway. And I think it does the job really well. And it has the advantage that you can write anywhere and you can pick up on your phone, on your iPad, wherever, on your laptop, of course, and pick up where you left off, wherever you may be throughout the day. And that is, of course, Google Docs. Now, Google Docs falls into the category of a word processor, not so much writing software, but of course, all you need is a place to write down those words and Google Docs, like Word, has a lot of editing capabilities, the formatting capabilities, you can export it, you can check your word count, you can even, <laughs> this is something I found recently, you can even dictate to it. Although it's not, it's not, it's not the best. It's not the best. Hi, this is a test. Is this actually working? Can you type for me? Kind of. Okay. It's a bit slow, but I guess you could use this. No, that's not what I said. All right, this isn't, this isn't great, but it exists. But of course, like I said, it has the big advantage of being online and you can access it from anywhere you are as long as you have an internet connection. So if you're on the bus on your way to work, you can write down some words from your phone and just, you know, tick a little bit up towards that writing goal for the day. And honestly, I think every little bit helps and it's a very intuitive software to use. I really like it. So if you haven't tried writing in Google Docs before, I highly recommend it. And it's collaborative. In case you ever want to co-write a novel with someone else, then you can also do that. And both of you can see what the other is doing in real time, of course. <laughs> Next up is one for my fellow Mac users. If you own a Mac, then this software comes pre-installed for free. And that is, of course, Pages. And this is another word processor similar to Microsoft Word or to Google Docs, but it is a not online. It's a software that is already installed on your Mac. And again, just like Google Docs and Word, I think it does the job. It does what it's supposed to do. And if you just need basic writing capabilities and formatting capabilities, it's all there and it's already pre-install, you don't even have to do anything. You just have to open the application and start writing. And of course, there's some extra features that all of these software have, like some thesaurus capabilities, spell check capabilities and editing. But of course, as these things go, they're not usually very good. But in the case of writing 50,000 words for NaNoWriMo, just open up pages and start writing. Honestly, that's all you need. And now one for my Windows users. This is one I could not test myself because I only have my Mac right now with me, but this is called Focus Writer and it is a downloadable app only for Windows. It actually used to be available on Mac as well. Right now though, it's only available for these systems. So I guess they kind of stopped updating it at some point. But as you can see from the screenshot, this is one of those 
kind of outdated pieces of software and the last update was somewhere in 2020. I think the whole idea of Focus Writer is to focus so you can actually just remove all of the formatting things from your screen and just write. I have read that a lot of people do enjoy this software, those who have tried it before on Windows, but I cannot attest to it personally, so I can just recommend you go check it out and maybe it works for you if you have a Windows or a Linux system. All right, and next up is LibreOffice. LibreOffice? I'm not sure how you pronounce that, but this is essentially the free Microsoft Office package. So it's a completely open source Microsoft Office. And just like Microsoft Office, it also comes with like, you know, spreadsheets and things like that. But for this video, we're just talking about the Word, Word processor. So this is called the writer piece of the package. And again, it's a Word clone has the same sort of capabilities, although I would say the interface is not as nice as Microsoft Office. And as you can see, it is a little bit outdated, but in terms of functionality, it essentially has all the functionality that Microsoft Word has and it's totally free. So I guess we cannot really complain. It's super easy to use. And if you've used Word or Google Docs before to write anything, then you shouldn't have any issues. Uh, picking this up and it is available for all systems as far as I'm aware, but definitely for Mac and for Windows, of course. Next one I have is called Quill. Quill Writer? Initially I thought this was Quill, which makes more sense, but I think it's Quill Writer. Anyway, this is a writing software that you can download and it is a little bit outdated, as you can see from the UI. It's not the prettiest thing, but it surprisingly, it has quite a lot of interesting features. Right away, as I started using it, these achievements started popping up, which to be honest, did feel quite a bit annoying because it seemed like they were every single second, but I'm pretty sure you can turn off that feature. At least I hope you can, because otherwise it would be pretty annoying, but otherwise it is a writing software. You can do pretty much what you can do in things like Scrivener, although it would be more limited functionality than Scrivener. But an interesting thing that I found is it has an inbuilt writing prompt system. So you can kind of use it as a warm up before your actual writing session. And it even, you know, randomly generates writing prompts for you. And you can just write something just to warm up. It also has night mode, of course, which is very, very important to any software. Of course, it also shows word counts just like all of these software do. So you can, in a way, use it like Scrimmer. You can create your character sheets, your location sheets, items, things like that. So you can have extra documents in your project to easily access. I think, again, it kind of does everything that it should do and it's completely free. So. Check it out. Next up is Bibisco. And this is another writing software. So this one I feel is not as intuitive. I feel like it actually took me quite a while to find where I can actually write my chapter or my, my novel per se. But I guess the idea with this is that alongside actually writing, you can also have all of these extra features like character sheets, timelines, notes, and it all kind of shows up as individual blocks so you can switch around between them. But as a word processor in the part where you can actually write your novel, it's pretty basic. But again, you don't really need more than a space to actually write out your chapters. But I think it's pretty neat that it's trying to, again, be kind of like a Scrivener where you have all these different blocks for locations, objects, characters, timelines, relations, and it's all totally free. It's just, I would say, maybe not as intuitive as some of the other software that I've shown in this video. But, you know, uh, at some point when something is free, you kind of just have to, you know, live with it and, and then be thankful that it exists at all. Next up, I want to talk about Campfire Blaze. Now, I have mentioned this company in some of my previous videos, but they are not sponsoring me to talk um, about them today. I just wanted to mention it because they do actually offer a free piece of their Campfire Blaze software to write. There are some limitations. I think you can only write up to 25,000 words for free, but 
obviously you can write those 25,000 words, export it to a Word document, write 25,000 words more, still for free, and then have your 50,000 word NaNoWriMo novel for free. But the idea with Campfire Blaze is that you have all these extra modules that you can add on to it. So you can have a lot of extra features, but honestly, the free stuff that it comes with is perfectly fine and honestly more than you probably need. But it's not just a word processor. As you can see, it has a bunch of features and a bunch of different really cool modules that you can add to and have this like proper writing project where you can have character sheets and lot arc timelines, you have all the stuff about the world, like you can create magic systems, you can create re languages, religions, all this stuff, like there's just so much, it's honestly probably a lot more than you will need, especially for a NaNoWriMo project, but it's just nice that it's there and it is for free. Some of these modules have limitations and some are only available to purchase as an extra module, but even just that, they're not really that expensive. So if you really feel like you need one of these modules, you can just purchase it all together and then own it forever. The only downside to this, I would say, is that it is online and it is cloud-based. So it's not something you can download to your computer, but you do have to access it through a browser. Then another app that I've talked about before on this channel, this is Calmly Writer. And this is another one that you can only access online, but that means the online version is free. There is a paid version of the app that you can actually download to your computer, but that one is paid. And the online cloud-based version is completely free. And I think it essentially is exactly the same as the downloadable version, but online and free. And this is the most basic writing software that I've come across because the first time you open it, you're like expecting something to happen because it's just literally a blank screen, almost entirely a blank screen. And maybe that's a little confusing, but the idea is that, you know, you can just focus on the words and disregard all of the distractions. But if you actually start clicking around, you will find some settings and configurations. It kind of does what it should do for a word processor. It has some cool features like night mode, of course, and a really cool feature is typewriter sound. So you can, you can feel like a, like a real writer when you're writing on this piece of software and it creates typewriter sounds. It's, it's, it's honestly cooler than it probably sounds. Just, just try it. <laughs> Then I have Shakespeare, Shakespeare, Shakespeare. I, I guess it's a play on Shakespeare, but it's Shakespeare. Anyway, you can actually get a free trial for the pro version for 30 days, but you can also have the basic version, which is free forever. Uh, so the version that I tried out is the pro version because once you sign up for the first time, you do actually get a code to try out the pro version. And this is a downloadable software. And again, as you can see, it's pretty straightforward and you can just write your words in the manuscript part of the software and then it has a bunch of extra features. What I did like about this particular software is it comes with a lot of statistics and interesting things like it analyzes the sentimental value of your piece of writing and it analyzes the linguistics and the style and it also has some strange overview that I didn't really understand the purpose of, but it, it looks cool. So it has all these like cool graphs and stats, which I like me some stats, but I guess maybe it's not always a good thing when you don't really understand what, what the stats mean, <laughs> but it looks cool. It certainly looks cool. Apart from all of the cool stats, it just has basic capabilities like, you know, showing word count, formatting, you can create different documents for characters, places, themes. And in my opinion, I think this is one of the nicer free writing software that you can actually download. I think as a UI, it looks decent enough and pretty intuitive. So yeah, at, at least compared to the Bibisco and the Cole Writer, I think it's definitely a lot nicer to use and to look at, to be honest. So yeah, check this out. All right, and the last piece of software that I have to talk about, because this is my ultimate favorite writing software, and I've made a lot of videos about this, that is Scrivener. And you might be wondering, hold on, Yasmina, Scrivener is a paid software. 
And you're right. Yes, yes, it is. However, however, they have a 30 day free trial. And the cool thing about that is it's not chronologically 30 days, it's 30 days of you actually using it. So of course, for NaNoWriMo, this would be perfect because if you log in every day during November, that is 30 days that you can use the software for free and write your NaNoWriMo project. I think that's actually why it was made like that in the first place. They collaborated with NaNoWriMo in the beginning. But if you only use it, say, once or twice a week, that's only two days counting towards those 30 days. So it can actually last you quite a while those 30 days. So I highly recommend at least checking this out and trying the free version because Scrivener is amazing. I This is my main writing software that I use. I do pay for it because I think it's totally worth it. And it is a one-time fee kind of deal that you don't have to, it's not a subscription-based model, which that is a conversation for another day. I do like when you can purchase a product and own it forever. Thank you very much. Um, but yeah, honestly, try out the free version. Scrivener has everything you can ever need and honestly way more than you'll probably ever need. But it's just that piece of software that all writers really, really love once you actually start using it. And I've talked about it on my channel a lot. I will link my tutorial for Scrivener up in the cards and down in the description if you're interested to hear more about what it can do. And yeah, I mean, this is my favorite, so I kept it for last. So uh, I highly recommend it. I also have a link for it down in the description. It is an affiliate link and I make a little bit off of if you actually decide to purchase it, but you won't pay any extra. So just, just check it out. <laughs> okay, so those are all of the best free writing software, word processors and apps that I have tried out and I would feel comfortable recommending. I've honestly tried out more than these, but there were some that I just, I couldn't, I couldn't, like I could not recommend because they were just so bad and outdated. And I don't think anyone would feel nice working on a novel in any of those software. So yeah, of course there's stuff you can use, like you can use Notepad and things like that. I'm sure there's other things that you can use, but I just wanted to recommend some software that is intended for writing in general and that a lot of writers actually use to write their novels and not just grocery lists. So I hope you found this video useful and there are links to all the pieces of software that I mentioned today down in the description. So make sure you check that out and pick whichever you wanna try out for yourself. And I hope you do. And I hope you will participate in NaNoWriMo and have a great time using some of these free writing software to write your 50,000 words. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video and I will see you next time in a new video. Bye.